Hello, I'm Susan Wagner. In our July issue, we featured a couple decorating projects using bandanas. This bandana covered throw pillow, these decorated pots, a bandana garland, and this bandana magnetic board. Our first project is a bandana garland. It's as simple as it comes, yet it makes a fun statement. Tie the corner of one bandana to the corner of another one, and keep tying on bandanas until you reach your desired length. There you go, a cute and colorful bandana garland. Our second project is just as easy. We're going to put together a bandana covered pillow like this one. To do this, you'll need two bandanas, some twine, and a pillow that is somewhat smaller than your bandanas. Center your pillow on top of your first bandana. Then, drape your second bandana over the pillow, and then gather up the corners of one side, being sure to pull the bottom bandana up a little tighter so that it stays even across the pillow. And then, tie the corners together with a piece of twine or rope. There you go, very simple. Our third project are these fun bandana covered terracotta pots. For this project, you'll need one bandana, a length of cording, and two pots for each piece. Start by centering the larger pot onto the bandana. Then, reach underneath your bandana and poke the center of the fabric through the pot, drawing up about one to two inches. Next, take one corner of the bandana and gather it together in loose pleats and then fold it over the pot and tuck it down into the bottom. Do the same for the opposite corners and the two remaining corners. Now you're going to tuck and rearrange the gathers until you get them to the look you want. Take your rope or cording and tie it around your pot, just under the lip. Finally, Nestle your second pot into your bandana covered pot, and there you go. Our last project is this framed bandana magnetic board. This is easy to create by wrapping a bandana around a sheet of galvanized metal and placing it into the frame. Start by measuring the inside opening of your frame. And then, using tin snips, you'll want to cut your metal sheet down to those same dimensions. After your metal sheet is cut to size, Center it on your bandana. Pull one side of the bandana up tight over the metal sheet and glue it in place. You'll then do the same for the other side, making sure that you're drawing it up tight around the metal sheet. After that, you're going to fold in the corners of one of the remaining sides, fold that side up tight around the metal sheet, and glue it in place. Insert your bandana covered metal sheet into your frame and secure it in place with the tabs on the frame or with small nails. For the finishing touch, add a piece of rope or twine as a hanger. There you go, a bright and colorful magnetic bandana board. For more decorating ideas such as these, see the July issue of Country Sampler, available on newsstands now or by visiting countrysampler.com. And we'll see you next time on Country Sampler on Video.